move to this item and he seems to be uh, making it uh, perform very well uh, Ed. Anyway, I know there's uh, loads of people wanting to work you and uh, thanks for uh, picking me out there and uh, as I say, you're 5 and 9 plus uh, 10 with me, no problem at all in your This is a station working one of the international Marconido stations it's Golf 2 November Mike, he's in Amberley and uh, the Amberley, uh, it's a museum, radio museum, vintage museum. It's quite famous because it's where one of the scenes from the film View to a Kill was shot, where Grace Jones comes out of the mine on a, uh, one of those handcarts on rails. So uh, it, it wasn't in Silicon Valley. <laughs> it was in Amberley. <laughs> oh, wonderful stuff. I'll see if I can work this guy. Amberley's in West Sussex, by the way. See if we can give him a call. Zero Romeo India Foxtrot. Mike Zero Romeo India Foxtrot. Mike Zero Romeo India Foxtrot. Five and nine plus at the least. Go ahead. Yeah, very good uh, afternoon to you. Golf two November. Mike Mike Zero Romeo India Fox. Name is Tony Tango Oscar November Yankee. In a small village just southwest of Exeter on the edge of Dartmoor. You're well over the nine, at least ten dB over nine. I've just been. Uh, listening to the last over and the other gentleman with a 7300 well that's exactly what i've got 7300 everybody's got one wish i'd share as an icon uh, 90 watts to an inverted v and uh, congratulations on the special call i have worked the uh amberley station before on one of your other calls uh, and i believe it's famous in that it was a it was the scene of one of the james bond films a view to a kill when i find that out it um <laughs> <laughs> he added a little something to think a bit of England was involved in the making of that film. But yeah, congratulations on the call. Beautiful signal. G2NM from Mike Zero, Romeo, India Fox. Over. Mike Zero, Romeo, India Fox. Drops on November, Mike. Okay, Tony, all the new five and nine plus throughout your last transmission. I don't know if it's the orientation of our doublet, but we always seem to do particularly well uh, westwards and southwestwards from here, so down towards uh, Dorset, Devon and Cornwall. There does seem to be a particularly good path most of the time, but um, 40 metres is in such great shape. Um, you could be pretty much anywhere running, um, uh, well, pretty much any power really. Worked the station earlier, 
um, on the outskirts of London who dropped his power from 100 watts to 5 watts and it barely made one F point worth of difference. So uh, the band is uh, <laughs> in superb shape. And yes, uh, 7 300s are everywhere, aren't they? And um, I'm guilty of that because I've got one <laughs> myself at home. Very, very nice radio, I think. And um, audio always seems to be very good as well. Just using the supply test mic here, we're running this one full pelt of 100 watts into our tuned doublet. Uh, more information on uh, qrz.com under Golf 2 November Mic. Uh, our usual call sign here for the other 364 days per year is Golf Bravo 2 Charlie Papa Mic. Golf Bravo 2 Chalk Pits Museum. And if you like looking at photographs of old radios and uh, technology of a bygone era, then uh, it's worth looking on QRZ under Golf Bravo 2 Charlie Papa Mike as well. Mike Zero, Romeo India Fox Trot, back to you, sir, from uh, Golf 2 November Mike, over. Golf 2 November Mike, Mike Zero, Romeo India Fox, solid copy all the way through. Chalk Pits Museum, that's it. I just couldn't think of the name, but I have worked it with uh, my various call signs since I was licensed in 29. I'll let you work some more. Great to have the contact with you today, and uh, thanks for picking me out all the stations that are calling. Um, I, uh, rather aptly, last night I worked into Canada, one of the places that... Uh, Marconi's early signals uh, dropped into. There was uh, a couple of stations on 60 meters on 5403 decimal five. I managed to work with 100 watts on a dipole. And I, that for me is, uh, is the best bit of amateur radio, two stations on 100 watts with a simple antenna. Uh, it was about half past 12 at night though. That was the downside. <laughs> Good luck with the special call. Hope you get plenty more in there. Golf to November, Mike. Oh, I should mention, I've made a short video uh, which, if you're happy, I'll post on my Facebook group, which is the Dartmoor Listening Post. I'm just listing the stations as I hear them and as I work them this morning. If you're happy, I'll pop a video on. Uh, go ahead. Yes, please do, Tony. Zero Romeo, India, Foxtrot, Elfstein, I don't And oddly enough, despite living a couple of hundred miles away from Dartmoor by road, I'm a member of that group as well. <laughs> So uh, yes, no trouble at all, and uh, I will look at that with great interest when uh, International Marconi Day ah, is all over. Well. And congratulations on the 60 metre contact, or contact, I should say. 60 metres is a great band. Um, we can tune the doublet here to, to go on that band, but it's not a band that we use very often for several reasons, one of which being that we don't want to frustrate two-thirds of British licensees by transmitting on a band that only four licensees can transmit on. That's not to say we've never used it, but we would sooner use uh, 40 metres or 80 metres for the reason that I've uh, just mentioned. And um, talking about coincidences as you were, I think you said you were first licensed in 2009. Well, snap, so was I. I got my mic fixed in 2009, but uh, upgraded to Mike Zero, Mike November Golf in 2013. So uh, you will occasionally hear Mike Zero, Mike November Golf on the air, but it's far more usual to hear me on the club stations or special event stations such as this one. Okay, Tony, great to talk to you. And now I think about it, yes, I do recognise your name from the Dartmoor Listening Post group. And uh, what a quality Facebook group no. that is, sir, I must say. Back to you for a final comment. Mike Zero, Romeo, India, Foxtrot, Golf 2, November Mike. Uh, how do you want the money, PayPal or, or check or not? I don't know. I really appreciate that. It started out sort of pre-lockdown. I had no idea lockdown was on the way. I had several pages and I can put it all into one. And it, it took off. We've got nearly 500 members now. There's just three or four other my mates uh, helped me ad admin it. But we try and keep it light-hearted, fun, amateur radio, monitoring, broadcast, anything with a bit of humour to it. Um, and I think during lockdown, it certainly gave me a lot of support and it gave a lot of my uh, friends that I've met through the group and, and on the air a lot of support. So and I appreciate your comments. And uh, I, I try, was it, it's Ed, isn't it? Is it Edmund over? Yeah, Roger, Roger, guilty as charged. And uh, would I be correct in thinking that the majority of people in that group don't even live in Devon over? There's quite a few that do, and there's quite a few that don't. We've got a member, we've got a couple of members abroad in Australia, Tasmania. Uh, we've got a few in the States and loads around England and quite a few in Europe as well. And uh, there's a few people who serve in 
some of the organizations that we monitor and one thing i do specify is that we're, we're very lucky i think in this country we can monitor such stuff as, as long as we're sensible with it and we, we don't go being silly about it no one's going to worry too much i know it's a bit of a gray area but it seems to have paid off and um i hardly ever have to edit anything that's on there so it's uh and it's nice because people are very much in support of lifeboats emergency services um coast guard etc which is a lot of the stuff that gets monitored so i'm hogging this frequency yeah, you crack on work some more i'll pop a video on and i'll tag you in it it's a huge video it's gone to 10 minutes <laughs> but thanks for the contact uh g2nm m0 r i f absolute pleasure take care seven three you're likewise tony and uh, great to work here for what i think is the first time uh under any call sign that i might be using and yes we absolutely support lifeboats emergency services all that sort of thing um 100 behind uh, the great work that they do and if you want to put any comments on on facebook along the lines of that bloke waffles too much then please do feel free but uh, i've never been a one of these sort of five nine next type operators I'm very much of the view that if a radio amateur takes time out of his or her day to talk to me on the air, which, let's face it, they don't have to, they could do other things instead, like watching TV or going down the pub or whatever, if um, somebody is going to show me the courtesy and forbearance of spending a couple of minutes talking to me, then the very least I can do as a courtesy is talk to them for a couple of minutes and um, I know that might annoy some people who are waiting in the wings perhaps but uh, on the occasions that I work somebody who basically says you're five and nine even if you're not thank you very much goodbye QRZ um, I always feel a little bit deflated after that shortly say so yeah no problem at all I mean because the band is in such great shape we're going to be here for a good few hours yet um, if there was nobody on 40 metres at all, we might pack up at about uh, half two local time. But because the band is, is crammed and wide open, uh, particularly to Inter-G, there is no way that we're going to be doing that today. So plenty of time to work, everybody. And uh, as I say, Tony, lovely to work here for what I'm pretty sure is the first time under any call sign. The call sign here is Golf Bravo 2 Charlie Papa Mike for pretty much... Uh, any other day of the year. Mike Zero, Romeo India Foxtrot from Golf 2, November Mike, 73 Tony, bye bye. Thank you very much, Ed. No, I, I echo your comments. I like a good natter and a good rank chew, and uh, whether it be a VK or someone half a mile up the road, good luck with the rest of the day, and I'll uh, I'll break my internet page by trying to load up what is now a 13 and a half minute video. <laughs> G2NM M0 RIF clear, 73. Tony and apologies to anybody who's waiting uh, patiently in the wings. This is Golf 2 November Mike uh, listening for any call. Golf 6 Alpha Delta. Uh, Golf 6 Alpha Delta. Is that Adrian from memory? Go ahead. Yeah, that certainly is. Good afternoon, Edmund. Good afternoon. Five and nine plus. Rather a lot, I think. I'll look at the IT7300 in just a minute to give you.